Oh boy. Good morning. This is your local Green Field area, and this is a 2021 Bellfire Dominator base model. <laughs> and I'm here to give it a full review. First, let's read the overview from the Green Wisconsin fandom. Do you want an off-roader? Do you want to feel like you're sitting on a cloud while doing it? Then the 2021 Bellfire Dominator is for you. It's not the fastest thing, but you will not be sad when you feel the performance of this vehicle. It's good technology causes a perfect combination of happiness and comfort. Although it's a bit overpriced, it's pretty nice sounding to get. This beast is powered by a 5.7 liter V8. The engine is admittedly loud, but it'll get you to wherever you need to go in style. Highlights of the Dominator include a split opening tailgate, a comfortable, a comfortable interior, and a bunch of off-roading features and capabilities. The Velfire Dominator has good technology and a strong engine. Sure, it might be a bit overpriced, but overall this is a great vehicle. Introducing the Velfire Dominator. Overpriced, but it's a great sounding engine. Alright, this reflects off the 2021 Toyota Land Cruiser. Now let's talk about purchasing, selling, and color. You can't get <laughs> this is on sale for 86 grand, and you can sell for $74,820. The four colors it's available in are Classic Silver, Blizzard Pearl, Midnight Black Metallic, and Magnetic Gray Metallic. I got this in the Blizzard Pearl color. Alright, now let's go over specs and stats. Top speed is 126 miles per hour, it has 381 horsepower, the fuel economy is 13 miles per gallon, it weighs 5,850 pounds, it has an all-wheel drive drivetrain, and it has... I don't know how it has to be that. Alright, now we're going to talk about perks and features. It is the most expensive vehicle that does not require a game pass. It's now currently beaten by the overpriced van, the 2017 Stuttgart Jogger Limo. Its more luxurious cousin is the 2017 Century Colonial. Now we're going to give this thing the exterior review. Now in the comments, I want you to tell me how many times have you ever seen this in Greenville? Because this is so unknown. I, I never normally see this ever on the roads in Greenville. It's so forgotten, but it's really nice looking. Alright, time to get this, get ready for the engine sound, the test drive. That was by far one of the most epic sounding V8s I've ever heard. And I'm not even exaggerating, that has so much power, it's insane man. The lighting really does need some help. I guess that's why not a lot of people are driving this. But yeah. It's been a long time since everyone has, anyone has ever reviewed this, I'm not kidding. Alright, how's the turning radius? It passed it for a road trip. I'm gonna set this to 80. This is 65 now. I almost said 85. Ah, that's the old thing. Alright, first try, let's go. Feeling the braking is gonna be a little weak. Like, but I guess it's just me. <laughs> Alright. See how the braking is on this thing. At three lines and it's gonna be now. Oh wow, it's way stronger than I thought. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens when you do a full send. Oh, 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 look at it go. Ah, front wheel. I thought this was all-wheel drive. It is, isn't it? It cannot do, don't, it cannot do burnouts. Okay, get ready, get ready. Let's see what happens. Well, kind of matches the Lexus LFA. Alright, time to do the speed test. Alright, starting with the 0 to 60 in 3, 2, 1, go. 
Oh, that's a better launch than I thought. 4.44 seconds. And our zero is 100 is in 3, 2, 1, go. I was not at all prepared. Eleven point fifty nine seconds. And our zero to one twenty six is in three, two, one. Begin. Man, that, that was an amazing launch. Probably the best launch you've ever had. <laughs> uh, this this is an awesome SUV. Fourteen point eighty two seconds. Now it's time to give this the wild gear score. Start off with the performance, and it is not bad at all. I'm going to give this an 18 out of 25. Next up is going to be the looks. It's, it's pretty amusing for car enthusiasts, but not really normal people. So I'm going to bump it down to a 19 out of 25. Next up is going to be the condition. It definitely needs a remodel because of its lighting. So I'm going to give this a 12 out of 25. And finally is going to be the speed. It's, it's not bad, but 126 miles per hour for A6 Grand is just not it. So I'm going to give this a I'm gonna give this a 14 out of 25, which adds up to 63 out of 100. It beats the 2018 Delphi Robust Hyper Limited by two points, although it is three points shy from the 2000 Jupiter Electron SL2. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night.